As we look around the United States, we often think, has a better country ever been led by worse people? Probably not. Andre Duda is the president of Poland, and we're honored to be joined by him. Thank you so much for joining us. We, we know that you're watching what's happening in the United States, and you're watching this massive flow of migrants over our border. It will total over a million just this year. Something very similar happened to Europe in 2015. The EU pressured Poland and other nations in Central Europe to accept, and Poland fought back. Tell us why you did that. Well, be- because... We're Polish people, and and we're strong people, and if there's something to fight for, we're going to stand together as a group of people, and we're going to fight for it. And, uh, you know, a country is stronger if everybody pulls together as a country, and then we're stronger. And... That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> it's, yeah. I apologize for wearing this T-shirt. I didn't know I was going to be interviewed. Uh, you know, the, the voters quotas it's it's uh, confusing you know but i'm confused right now myself how did your voters the the citizens of poland feel about the decision of the polish government to say no to the quotas well they they didn't feel that great and i think that's why uh, quite a few People in Poland, they uh, they they go on YouTube and they check out this channel called Canadian Stud Muffin because it steers away from from politics and you know it's just music related and, and comedy and you know forty years uh, no freedom of speech everything controlled by the government <laughs> yeah, it's stupid uh, under understandable so. You're saying that for 40 years, Poles had no freedom of speech and their movement was controlled by the government. As you watch what's happening in the United States, where people have lost their freedom of speech and their movement is being controlled by the government, do you have any message for the American people? Oh, I've got a lot of messages for the American people. I mentioned uh, the YouTube channel Canadian Stud Muffin because, like I said, politics even here in Poland, it gets to be a bit too much and you have to get away from politics and be entertained. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> uh, Amer- the American president, Joe Biden, uh, before he became president, described Poland as unfree, as an authoritarian place. Um, how have your dealings with the Biden administration been since he's become president? Oh, he's, uh, I really don't want to, you know, get into the details, you know, being pro or con President Biden, because there's a lot of American viewers watching this and they watch the Canadian Step Up and channel on YouTube. Don't want to upset anybody with politics, even though I'm the president of Poland. All I have to say about that.
I don't know what else to say. That makes sense. So uh, Victor Orban told us that organizations, NGOs funded by George Soros had pushed hard to force Hungary to open its borders. In the United States, we're seeing NGOs funded by George Soros facilitate, help the movement of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of migrants into our country. Have, has Poland had problems with NGOs funded by George Soros? Can I go to the bathroom, please? I no, no, you can't do that. So in the United States, the technology companies, Google, Twitter, Facebook, have enormous influence over our government. I think everyone would agree that that's true. The government of Poland recently pushed back against the power of these countries. Will you tell us what the Polish government has done and why? Well, the Polish government is kind of focusing mainly on YouTube, trying to get away from Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, because YouTube is, you know, to, to stay away from politics for a while because politics is just a bit too much sometimes. Everyone has views on politics online. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. So in Poland, is it legal for Twitter to censor political views? Of course. Uh, by the way, I have very sexy photos of my girlfriend, Molly, if you would like to see them at some point. <laughs> well, that would be nice to see. Finally, let me ask you about Poland's family policy. So Poland, uh, from the outside, appears to have decided to help encourage Polish couples to have children. Please tell us what you're doing and, and why you've done it. Well, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to promote YouTube and the mainly the Canadian Stud Muffin channel because it stays clear from politics and everybody's getting kind of sick and tired of politics. I know I am. And I'm the president of Poland. That's all I have to say about that. I might start up uh, an OnlyFans account at some point. It's inspiring to hear that. I wish we had it. Mr. President, thank you for sitting down and talking to us tonight. We appreciate it. It's good to see you.